Hey guys, I gotta be honest with you, I've been getting a little bored of Apple. They've just not been doing that much inspiring, exciting stuff, and I think one great way for that to be all changed is with an iOS 13 release that really focuses on making your device as good as it can possibly be. It seems like for the longest time, there just haven't been any major changes. So here are over 60 Apple can add. It's been over six years since iOS 7, and iOS hasn't changed much since then. It's time for a redesign. Two, an always-on display to take advantage of that organic LED display. Why Apple hasn't added it, I don't know. And also some lock screen toggles that can be customized on the lock screen, not just the preset ones. The organic LED display is also perfect for a notification concept like this, just let you know when you have a notification without lighting up the whole display. And this is super cool. When you have no notifications, iOS should automatically take you to the home screen by scanning your face ID without requiring you to slide up every time. It's very efficient. And also this screen here, it'd be very nice to have it as an option just to stay. Getting this to work on your device is hard enough, but it'd be nice to just have it sit there. And inspired by the Apple Watch, the ability to have some sort of complications that are customizable on the lock screen would be really nice. Also, I'd like an option to speed up system animations. Look at this, this is an iPhone 10 on the left, and it's actually quite faster than the 10s in just general UI animations because they've been sped up here. And just like Apple did on the iPads, the iPhone 10 interface should be standard on all iPhones, tap to wake, slide up to unlock, slide between apps, the toggles on the lock screen. It would just be really nice to have this on all older iPhones. And of course, if you want the true experience, you upgrade to the more expensive ones. Also, in my opinion, rounded corners make older iPhones feel so much more current. And the Apple Pencil 2 charging sequence, the way it looks, it should be the standard notification look. I really like it. And something that bugs me about larger iPhones is the screen is bigger, but the interface doesn't change at all between them. You should have more apps on the same page or a custom UI just for that larger phone. I think we should be able to move apps around how we please. They shouldn't be locked into Apple's grid and the ability to remove icon labels would make your iPhones look so clean. Apple has had 12 major versions of iOS. They all have the same look on the volume HUD. Apple should make it smaller and move it out of the middle of the screen. And I think Apple should make the home bar disappear after a set period of time, just because we already know how to go home. We don't need that reminder there constantly. And several control center improvements for one on the larger phone, have an easier way to access it. I hate having to stretch my hands every single time trying to open it. The control center should actually be able to turn off the toggles that you click to turn off, not just disable temporarily, and control center shortcuts to the setting. And now with the larger 10s Max, we have just a little bit more room on the side of the notch. Apple should give us an option to bring back the battery percentage up there. And I think that this would be a great security feature, disable power off until you enter the passcode or scan with face ID. It would also be cool if our iPhones would tell us how long until fully charged up. Just give us a little bit more detail regarding the battery situation. And since we can wake our iPhone with a tap, we should also be able to put it to sleep as well. This tweak here, a double tap on the wallpaper, puts the iPhone to sleep and it works so well. And of course, would this be a feature wish list without dark mode? If not for iOS 12.2 or 12.3, Apple, please wait until iOS 13 to release this feature. You've been perfecting it for over 10 years, I know, so it's about time. It would also be nice to be able to lock individual applications with Touch ID or Face ID to avoid prying eyes, especially on the Photos application. And one of the most annoying things about using an iPhone is when you get a phone call, your entire interface gets taken over. You can't do what you were doing. You have to completely stop everything and answer the call or decline it. There's no way around it. Same thing for Siri. The interface hijacks your entire screen. You should be able to interact with Siri in a tiny little pop-up just like this. And if you want the full screen interface, you can do that later. Also, Siri in general just needs to get smarter. In particular, the offline Siri, she should be able to do basic commands without having to connect to the server every single time. And I'd say with the arrival of the iPhone XS Max, we should have slide over or split view for applications in both horizontal and portrait mode. I mean, the screen size allows for it. As you can see, I'm doing it here on iOS 11. Apple, please give us the ability to multitask more efficiently using this view here. In fact, there's a lot I like about the iPad that needs to be brought over to the iPhone. The interface they have right now on the iPad would be perfect as an exclusive to the Max series or the Plus series iPhones, and then Apple should develop an entirely different interface for the iPads, such as PadOS I'll talk about in a little bit. Also, picture-in-picture picture as another example of this. This should be standard already. We have the screen size for it. It works perfectly. There's no reason it shouldn't exist, but 
Apple, for whatever reason, doesn't want to add it. And behind dark mode, for me, this is one of my most requested features for iOS 13. I'd love to be able to browse some news, some news articles, reading those while watching a video. That multitasking would really be great, and it's perfectly possible, as you can see. And the ability to skip by 10 seconds or 15 seconds in the native video player, wherever video may crop up on your device, would definitely be nice. And this here iPad-inspired dock is perfect on an iPhone. Another feature that Apple should port over, have it be dynamic, just be able to open up that dock without having to exit the application, also have recent applications in there, it works so well. The ability to set predetermined apps to do certain things, for example, opening up all addresses with Google Maps, or if you get a text, open it up with a certain messaging application. Of course, Apple would never do this, but the option would be nice. And picture in picture for navigation, one of my favorite features from Android would also be cool. And the camera application, again, basically untouched since iOS 7. Apple's just been slowly adding tiny little things, but it could use a major overhaul in both design and function. I'd like to be able to pause video while recording it. Also the ability to enable the torch or the flashlights during video without having to pause the video and reset it. Also something I instinctively do all the time until I remember Apple hasn't added it, the ability to flip the camera view just by double tapping on the camera screen, something that Snapchat and Instagram both have Apple should add as well. Also, the ability to change the native resolutions or megapixel count, aspect ratios, just all those settings within the camera application without having to go to settings every time. And with all of Apple's processing power, they should definitely have the night sight feature that Google introduced with the Pixel 3, a specific mode just for dark shots. And I know Apple will likely never do something like this, but it just seems like an almost OEM feature that Apple introduced. This is one of my favorite reasons to jailbreak. Basically change the surrounding colors of the music application and the ambience, depending on the album art of the music. I like to listen to music from Apple Music just because of that. It's all around a very cool feature and I'd like to see it in the stock music application. Also from within the control center, it'd be nice if we could get a little preview of the album art in there. Sometimes I register that faster than the words, so just be nice to have that as an option. And I think a few small changes to the way that screenshots work on iOS could go a long way. One, introduce a scroll capture similar to that of Androids where you can stitch together multiple pages of screenshots into one big one. It's just very convenient instead of having to take like 10 separate once. Also, every time you take a screenshot and you don't like it or it's an accident, I hate having to go in and delete it every single time. We should just be able to swipe it away to delete. And for the power users, it would be nice to be able to take a screenshot and drag that directly into a text field on a certain application instead of having to manually input it from the photos every single time. Now, after every iOS update, I usually get some storage back and that's because of the caches that get cleared. It'd be nice if Apple gave us the ability to individually clear app caches on applications instead of it being an automated thing with every software update. I'm glad that Apple did give us the ability to customize controls on the AirPods, but they could take that even further and add new functionality uh, to each one individually. So doing a certain thing will change it. Basically just some more functionality there. Also for Bluetooth devices, if you have a ton like me, it would be nice to be able to change the name individually in the settings app. It'd be just such a tiny change and Apple still hasn't added it. And a simple change on the contacts app that would be very convenient is the ability to slide to delete contacts instead of having to go into every single one individually to delete them. I think the messages app should be blue. It's originally green because it was called SMS way before, but now everyone just uses iMessages and that should reflect that. In messages to select a photo, it's a pain to get into the photos. Apple should make this interface easier in one touch. And with iOS 13, of course, will come new wallpapers. This time around though, Apple should add all the new wallpapers and a ton of new ones, live ones as well, without removing a lot of the older ones. On recent iPhones, there's this big dead zone in the key keyboard that has nothing there, Apple should do something with that space, not necessarily this, but something in general. And like on any Android phone, I'd like to see the number row above the keyboard just so I don't have to shift into it every single time. And the ability for haptic touch upon typing would also be really cool. CarPlay is a great idea. A lot of cars take advantage of it. The problem is a lot of older cars can't. So Apple should make this a standalone application. I ask them every single year to do this. And I think in general, it would be safer. And some changes to 
iPad. I believe it should have its own OS, pad OS or something of the sort where it can run full on professional applications and have mouse supports. The iPad just seems like a larger iPhone with a little bit more capability. So Apple should definitely refine that. Also the ability for multiple users or guests would be welcome. So yeah, guys, there it is, my iOS 13 wish list. We've got a ways to go until we see the first betas of this in June later this year, but I'd like to see Apple implement at least, what, like 10, 15 of these at most. So thanks for watching. Leave your personal suggestions down below in the comments. I'd love to see them. Peace.